Hi, welcome to my channel Clickview Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and today I will share my learning about how we create a statistics box. So, statistics box is a a simple box where it shows a generally used statistics about a particular field, like a budget or expense or some other numerical field for which you want to have a some count or average a uh, general statistics so you have uh, uh, two ways basically to create this uh, first by directly clicking over this uh, sigma kind of an icon so if you click this it opens this new statistics box um, apart from that you can go here and click on new sheet object you right click on the blank space and go into new sheet object and uh, second option is statistics box uh, the third option basically is here the object menu new sheet object and statistics box so your choice whichever way you want to choose uh, all the three ways uh, lead to the same aim so let's click on statistics box all right so this is a title, a title that you want to give to this statistics box and uh, this is uh, about the field so which field you will choose to create uh, a statistics box so for example let's say budget amount so we want to have this field budget amount and uh, we want to use the same field name as a title so checkbox is marked here and uh, this is the available functions like numeric count of budget amount null count how many null values are present budget amount how many text values text count and missing counts and uh, standard deviations QNS. so a lot of you know available function so these are the available functions which you can display so to display you need to add it here by clicking on this add button so you highlight a particular function like missing count and click it over here and it will come over here so for now I will uh, remove it back to this available function and these are the default displayed function which is available here in this uh, displayed functions so for that you see this it is total count which is default sum average min max so whenever you create a new statistics box these will be the displayed uh, functions list and uh, if you want to remove any say for example you want to get uh, average you can remove it and uh, make it customized according to your requirements so let's put it back as I want to have it to show you and uh, let's create it by clicking on OK so it uh, has given us on wrong location let's move drag it over here alright so you see this uh, in this budget amount field the total values or the total count is uh, 141 sum of total values is uh, this average is some um, 29,445 minimum is minus 472 and maximum is this much so as you see these values so total count is pop properly formatted over here sum is uh, having two decimal places whereas average has couple of uh, more decimal uh, places after the decimal so you have a uh, lot many values after the decimal minimum has a uh, negative value and having uh, a value after two de I mean uh, two values after the decimal and same is the case with the max so let's see how we can uh, properly format this so for example we want to have uh, no decimal in our 
values over here for sum, average, min or max. So let's see how we can have a rounded value without the decimal. Alright, so we'll go into the tab number and uh, these are the functions that we have displayed. So we will highlight each one by clicking on it and uh, click on override default settings. This will uh, help us uh, in uh, fixing the decimal places so we can click on fixed two. So here is no decimal it means we do not want any decimal and uh, a, def a preview is over here. So we see that uh, in this preview there is no decimal places value. We, cl we can click over apply. So total count was not having any decimal so fine for this. So let's see how it will do for some. Again fixed to apply and you see that the decimal values are now gone. It's a it's a round value over here without any decimal values. Average again override default settings fixed to apply. So these are this value the average is now properly formatted. So let's do it for mm, minimum and maximum apply maximum apply okay so you see that all of these values are now properly formatted and uh, we are good to go you know so let me just drag it up a little bit so that it is in the same alignment with other values over here so it will not look odd so this is uh, about the statistics box uh, the values that you can display um, let's see some other properties uh, font is a simple one it's just that uh, uh, what font you want so you want bold apply this will be bold the entire value will be bold so let's click on regular again make it a regular one layout uh, again layout has various options uh, but uh, most important is uh, uh, show the all you know this helps you uh, showing the uh, statistics box either always or conditional if you have some condition uh, you can put it here and uh, show this uh, statistics box only when this condition is fulfilled. So if you want to see how this works uh, you can uh, view my earlier video uh, which was about the text box the click view text box object. Uh, there I have explained how we can conditionally display a uh, click view object the same situation applies here also so I'll not repeat it over here but I encourage you to go into that video and see how we can conditionally uh, show or hide the values so I will click on always again and uh, see the different other properties like uh, you have few properties over here so you want to allow move or size so if you want if you don't want you can uncheck but if you want the end user that uh, they can move it according to their requirements or resize it to save the screen space they can do that uh, if it is checked if you want to allow the end user to copy or clone this statistics box you can uh, have this check enabled but if you don't want you can uncheck this after that they will not be able to clone or copy this statistics box and uh, this is about uh, you want I mean uh, some of the properties uh, which I will encourage you just play around with it like size to data so text box the statistics box will be size according to data that is present um, you can uh, have the scroll bars 
if uh, the value is uh, you know uh, somehow adjusted in such way that scroll bar is appearing then you can set the settings you can set uh, the color of scroll buttons you can have the scroll background what kind of width you want so these are the some additional different properties uh, that you can explore caption is a simple one uh, so caption is this budget amount for this statistics box uh, if you don't want you can uncheck this apply now it doesn't have a uh, caption but if you want you can click apply and it is now appearing again uh, inactive caption active caption simple properties if it is not enabled what kind of background color it will have and if it is active what kind of uh, background the budget amount will be having but for now we have uh, fixed it to uh, based on a theme so that's why it is not reflecting over here but uh, when you create it from a scratch in your new document you can explore these properties and have it according to your company policies like uh, uh, in some companies uh, inactive caption should be uh, highlighted in a gray background like mentioned over here and text color is black whereas active caption it means uh, when you click on budget amount it should be highlighted with the uh, say red color and text text should be white so you can have uh, uh, such values uh, uh, I'm sorry such colors according to your company policies so if your um, caption is long enough and you want and it is coming in uh, you know it is exceeding this space then you can have it in multi line by clicking on wrap text and make it in a two lines well and check for this uh, another important property is uh, you want to send this data to Excel you can enable this uh, icon send to Excel click on apply and OK uh, so for now it is not appearing but another way is you can right click on this and click on send to Excel this will send this data to Excel so for now we'll uncheck this but in normal scenario it works uh, you can explore when you create a new statistics box uh, apart from that you have allow minimize uh, you click on apply you see this uh, small underscore kind of an icon is here uh, which will enable this to hide or minimize budget amount you can double click again and it will be appearing here over again so uncheck this for now make it a default one you can allow maximize it will maximize like a normal screens you have help text you want some help text about it like uh, this is uh, statist statistics text box click on apply okay whenever you put your mouse over here it will show this help text so these are some simple but useful properties that you can have it in your statistics box so play around with this statistics box use uh, different functions available here for your uh, analysis needs and surprise your management so that's all uh, I want to I wanted to discuss in this video and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new click view object uh, for then have fun with this statistics box bye bye